QuickBooks Online 2022. Purchase order adding new items. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We set up with a 30 day free trial. Holding down control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that 125%. Currently in the home page, otherwise known as the Get Things Done page. <laughs> And the business view as compared to the accounting view, if you wanted to change to the accounting view, it's something you can do by going to the cog up top and then the switch to accounting view down below. We will be toggling back and forth between the two views, either by going here or jumping on over to the sample company file, which is currently in the accounting view. Going to close this back up. Let's we're going to be entering purchase orders, so there's no impact on the financial statements. We can go to the plus button here to do so. We're in the vendor area. We're imagining in our Get Great Guitars story here that we're ordering guitars. And when we order the guitars, we're not actually paying for the point in time at that point in time of ordering them. And we don't receive the inventory clearly. It's just a request, something we want to track but something that will not have a financial impact on the financial statements. So let's go down to the purchase order. We're going to open one up. We're going to add a new uh, vendor, which is going to be called Fender, the new vendor that we're going to add. We're also going to add a customer imagining someone came into the store. They said, hey, well, I want this Fender guitar. And we're like, well, we don't have Fender yet. We haven't been doing business with that particular vendor called Fender. So uh, we'll do an order for you here. We'll apply it out to you as the customer. We'll track it. And when we get it, then we will uh, we will process the invoice. So this is the order to the new vendor, which is called Fender. Fen Fender. Fender. So I'm going to add it as we go, hitting tab to do so. And we'll have the add item here. So it's going to be Fender, the new vendor. See how it rhymes there? I like to say it like that, Fender, Fender, the new vendor. Anyways, we're going through this. I'm going to say this happened on 020222, 020222, 2000 double deuce. And then we're going to go down to the items down below. We're going to have to add a new item because this is an inventory item and we've never purchased a Fender guitar yet that we're going to resell. I'm just going to call it an SQ which is going to be short for the Squire. Is that what it is that we're going to have here? So let's go ahead and add an inventory item, adding the inventory item. And we're going to scroll down here. We're going to call it, we're going to say this is a Squire. Let's put that in before I forget. I'm going to call it a Squire. I think it's, that's how you spell it. I hope if not, you know, it is, it's, that's what we're going to do this time. And then the, the initial quantity on hand is going to be zero because we haven't purchased any at this point yet. And then the as of date could just be as of today. I'll just put, you know, as of the date we're purchasing it. And then with the inventory accounts, we have the inventory asset, which is going to increase when we purchase the Squire. The price that we're going to be purchasing or selling for, the, what we're going to sell it for is $244, we're going to say. It's going to go to the sales of product income account on the income statement when we per when we make an invoice or a sales receipt. We're going to take that squire and put that down here in the description here as well. The cost is going to be 168. 168. Cost of goods sold is going to be the expense account and the preferred vendor. We can go ahead and just say it's going to be Fender, the new vendor is also the preferred vendor fender that is let's go ahead and save it and close it and there we have it so we've got that populated looks good so that's good let's put the date let's make the date up to the ninth here i'm going to change the date up to the ninth instead of the two two double deuce two 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 nine twenty two and then let's say that we sold how many of these are we going to sell or are we going to purchase 20 of them let's say we're going to purchase 20 of these squires and I'm going to make them specifically for a particular customer. And I'm going to say that I think this is a new customer that we're going to type in the name. New Music Stuff. That's the customer's name. I know it's a funny name. Who would name their store that? Who came up with this problem? That makes no sense. That's a good name. That's the customer's name. So we're going to save that. There it is. It looks like there'd be a financial transaction related to this purchase order because we have this number down here. But no, 
because we're not actually paying for it at this point in time and we haven't got the inventory we're just going to track the po the purchase order and we expect to receive the purchase order in the future with our 20 guitars in a box with most likely a bill from the uh, new vendor named fender so let's go ahead and save it and close it once again no impact on the financial statements what we can do is is we'll do this uh in a following presentation but if we were to say that we received the the invoice or the purchase order or the guitars we can make a bill from the uh fender fender remember fender that's our new vendor we can add a bill and then it would have this pop-up on the right hand side quickbooks saying hey you've got a purchase order for that new vendor fender do you want it? and that's what we can do next time but we won't do it now so i'm going to close this back out that's just a precursor alluding to the story that's going to happen in the future that's a possible prophecy in the get great guitar story that may come to pass but now let's go and uh, we can also take a look at the get paid and paid area which if you were in the accounting view would be in uh the sales area in the sales area and so we would be in the customer area here but over here in the get paid and paid area we're talking customer uh section and then actually sorry we're at the vendor section and over here it should not be in the sales item but in the expenses item i got turned around there backwards backwards hold on a second so there we are vendor section closing the hamburger and then we can scroll down to that 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 vendor the new one called fender we can go into that there's our purchase order that we have uh waiting for us we can also look up that purchase order of course with reports we can also go into the detail we could say hey look i just want to know which purchase orders are outstanding not go into the actual vendor under the uh business view that would be in the business i'm sorry not in the business overview it would be in the bookkeeping section where they put the transaction detail up top outside of like the vendor center whereas over here on the accounting view it would still be in what i would call the vendor center or the expense cycle area and here okay so same kind of thing once you get there it's going to be into we're looking at the expenses transactions and then I'm going to close the hamburger and then we can sort this stuff. Let's sort this stuff. Hitting the drop down and we can sort by possibly we want to see the purchase orders. Let's first take a look at all the purchase orders. Just give me all of them. Let me check them out. There they are. And then we possibly might want to look at just the ones that are open. How about we just restrict it now to the open ones this time. Hitting the drop down. Give me the open ones and then we'll apply that out boom there's the open one for that that fender that's that new vendor that we set up so there's no impact on the financial statements yet thus far therefore we're not opening up no need to take a look at the trial balance if it was right last time it should be right this time and next time we'll uh, take a look at them most likely when we do the next thing